Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today inshallah we will do the exercise of the lesson yesterday we have read. This is a lesson about the counting from 1 to 19. So before we start the exercise, we learn about the counting. What are the rules of the counting in Arabic? Numbers, we call it Adadun. Numbers Adadun. Uh, its singular is adad. In Arabic are fully declinable nouns. Numbers are declinable in the Arabic. The noun being counted with a number is called madud. The noun is being counted. We call it madud. The rules for the other and madud change after every few numbers. There is not a single rule for the counting in Arabic. After every few numbers, the rules of the counting and rules of the other than madud, they change. Wahidun one, Isnani two. Salasatun three, Arbatun four, Khamsatun five, Sittatun six, Sabatun seven, Samaniatun eight, Tisatun nine, Asharatun ten. So this is a counting from one to ten. And how we can count it with the Madud? Both one and two, the number one and the number two, other than one and two follows the nouns as adjective. Follow the nouns as adjective. So the other and the madud follow all the rules of na'tun wa manutun. We have learned in the Rusul Uwatul Arabiya about the not and manut, about the adjectives. So the other one and two, wahidun, wahidatun. Wahidun one, isnani two. Only one and two, they follow the rules of the not and manut. Ukhtun is feminine. So the adad will be feminine. Ukhutun wahidatun. And akhun is masculine. So adad will also be masculine. Muzakkar. Akhun wahidun. And same with the two. Ukhtani. Ukhtani, this is feminine. Two sisters. Ukhta nisnatani. Two sisters nisnatani. And for masculine, dual. This is dual. Akhawani and ukhtani. This is dual. For ukhtani dual, we use dual, dual form of the number. Isnatani. And for the masculine, Masculine dual, we use masculine uh, muzakkar form of the uh, dual form of the is, isnani. Akhawani isnani. This is 
about the number one and two. Others one and two, they follow the rules of the naatun and madun and manutun. They are on the pattern of adjectives. And from three to ten, there are the different rules. From number three to ten. Numbers adadun comes before the madud. In one and two, you see the madud is coming first. Akhun is coming first, and the number wahidun is coming later. But from three to ten, adad comes before the madud. Adad comes before the madud. Salasu. Salasu is adad. Salasu is adad number. And akhawatin is madud because this is a noun is being counted. So number comes first and the madud comes uh, later. Akhawatin. Salasu. Akhawatin. Number first and the madud second. Salasatu. Ikhwatin. <coughs> Number is coming first and the madud is coming later. This is first rule. Numbers comes before the madud. Number two is number is modaf. Number is modaf. So number can never have a mudaf can never have a tanveen, no tanveen. From three to ten, number cannot have a tanveen because it is mudaf. And number also cannot have a liflam. Mudaf cannot have a tanveen, mudaf cannot have a liflam because it is mudaf. So number from three to 10, they cannot have tanveen. Khamsu, not khamsun. Khamsatu, we cannot say khamsatun. Because it is mudaf, it will take single dhamma. Salasu, arbau, khamsu, situ, sabu, same with the uh, uh, other number arbatu, khamsatu, sittatu, sabatu, samanyatu. Number will take single fata when it is modaf, when it is <clears throat> when it is counted from three to ten, it will take only single dhamma. The next is noun being counted. Noun being count, counted, we know it, that is a madud. The noun is being counted here, akhun is counted. Here, akhun is being counted. Ikhwatin. Akhawatin. So, this is madud here. Noun being counted is modafilai. They are on the pattern of mudaf and mudaf alai. Hence, majroorun. Because mudaf alai is always majroor in a genitive case. Adad is mudaf, so the madud will be mudaf alai. And it will be majroor because mudaf alai is always in a genitive case, in a majroor case. Ikhwatin, you note here, arbau akhwatin, majroor, taking kasra. Arbaatu ikhwatin, taking kasra. So this is a symbol of majroor, that take kasra. So madud is mudafilai, and it is majroor, so ending will be with kasra.
معدود is جمع plural from 3 to 10 this is only from 3 to 10 معدود is جمع is plural here you know اخون and from 3 to 10 is اخواتن and this is اختن singular singular feminine and so here you see here اخواتن plural so مدود in the counting from 3 to 10 will be plural جمع the next is the gender of other the gender of other and مادود is opposite. If the مادود, the number, the noun is being counted is feminine. If the مادود or a noun is being counted is feminine, the number will be masculine. Akhavatin. Akhavatin. This is feminine. Sister. Akhavatin. Sister. So the number is masculine. Salasu. Salasu is a masculine number. Arbau is a masculine number. Khamsu is a masculine number. While Akhavatin is a feminine madud. Akhavatin is a feminine madud, and with the feminine madud, the number is masculine. Salasu, Arbau, Khamsu, Sibtu, Sabu, Samani, Tisu, Ashru. Okay. With the feminine counting, Ashru and sh this is silent here, Ashru. Why? If the Madud is Muzakkar. Madud is Muzakkar. This is Muzakkar Madud. And this is the counting with the Monas Madud. So if the Madud is Muzakkar, Akhun, brother. Brother is Muzakkar, masculine. The madud from three to ten will be feminine. Uh, adad will be feminine. Salasatu. Salasatu is a feminine noun. Feminine adad. Arbaatu, feminine. Khamsatu. Sittatu. Sabatu. Samaniatu. Tisatu. Asharatu. So from 3 to 10 with a masculine madud, numbers are feminine. And we have learned that this is ta marbuta. This is a symbol of a feminine noun. If, if a noun ending with this ta marbuta, that noun is a feminine noun. So Arbatu, Salasatu, Khamsatu, Sitatu, they all have ta ending, round ta ending, ta marbuta. So they are the feminine numbers. All these are the feminine numbers because they have a ta marbuta at the end, ending with the ta marbuta. This is from 3 to 10. Now we go forward <clears throat> from 11 to 19. From 11 to 19, the Adad is a Murakab, compound word. Here we have seen that Adad is a sing, single word, Tisatu. Only a single word here. But from 11 to 19, the other, the number is a compound, compound word, is a murakkab. 
Adat is a murakkab from 11 to 19, made up of two parts. The Adat have two parts. Like you see here, Ahada, first part, Ashara, second part. So Adat have two parts. Both parts of the compound word are Mabni. They are Mabni, they are indeclinable. They are indeclinable. But we learn in the uh, here that the numbers are fully declinable nouns in Arabic. But from counting 11 to 19, 11 to 19. 11 to 19, the, both parts of the compound words are mabniun indeclinable. Exception, this rule are isna and isnata. This rule doesn't apply on the 11 and 12. Because 11 and 12, they are on the pattern of uh, Nath and Madhud. In genitive and accusative case, they become Isnati and Isnai. So when they are, when they are, um, when they are Mansub or when they are Majroor, they change. So isna and isna, there is an exception. They can change. They are not uh, indeclinable. This one. They can decline. Number 12, they can decline. But from 13 to 19, they are indeclinable. Adad have two parts, part one and part two. And Madhud, we call it Tam Yizun. The Madhud is always singular from 11 to 19. From 11 to 19, the Madhud is singular, Taliban, and it is Mansub. Madhud. The number, the noun is be counted is always singular and mansub in the accusative case. And this is called tam yizun. We call it tam yizun. So here you see here Taliban. This is Singular form is Talibun in <coughs> nominative case. And when it is Mansub, it will, it will become Taliban. And we add an extra alif, so it, will, it will become Taliban in this form. Taliban nominative case, Marfu, Taliban genitive case. So this is singular. The Madud is singular from uh, 11 to 19. Next is first part, Adad. Adad has two parts and Madud has only one part. From number 11 to 12, <clears throat> from number 11 to 12, 
both parts of the compound word agree with the gender of the madhur both parts part 1 part 1 part 2 for masculine and feminine <clears throat> they both agree <clears throat> with the madud if the madud is feminine the part first and second also feminine if the madud is masculine the part first of other than part second they are also masculine Okay. I show you here. If the asharata taliban, talibatan, talibatan is feminine. Talibatan is feminine. and adad ihda is feminine asharata is also feminine both parts of the adad are agree with the madud taliban taliban is masculine taliban is masculine ahada first part ashara second part they are also masculine same with the 12 talibatan is feminine first part isnata is feminine asharata is also feminine taliban is masculine muzakkar the first part of adad is isna muzakkar ashara is also muzakkar for muzakkar both parts of the adad are muzakkar and for the feminine both parts of the adad are feminine this is for 11 and 12 now we learn about the counting 13 what is the rule from 30 to 19 from 13 to 19 part 1 of the compound word is opposite in gender than that of the madud if madud madud is masculine part first of the compound part first of the adad adad is a compound so part first will be opposite with the madud madud is muzakkar adad will be monus feminine madud is masculine adad will be feminine only first part second part is agree with the madud part second agrees with the gender of the madud so if the madud is masculine second part will also be masculine same with the feminine if the madud is feminine madud is feminine first part will be masculine first part will be masculine and second part will agree with the madud second part will be feminine only the first part will be opposite in gender with the madud then 20 the adun is on the same pattern as jamun muzakkar salim sound masculine plural muslimuna sabiruna the number 20 is on the pattern of jamun muzakkarun salimun sound masculine plural it has the same form for both madudun masculine for masculine and for feminine it is the same number 20 is same for the masculine and for the feminine 
if the madud is masculine then the adad is also masculine if the madu if the madud is feminine so ishruna will be same for the feminine for the feminine and for the uh, masculine no uh, 20 will be same here the madud is always singular and mansub tamiz tamizun this is true for madudun from number 9 11 to 19 so ishruna muzakkar madud muzakkar madud if we are counting a muzakkar taliban we use ishruna and if the madud is monus talibatun talibatan it is because it is mansub talibatan ishruna so for muzakkar and for feminine the number 20 is same ishruna we can use it for both and it is jamma muzakkar salim sound masculine plural and this was our counting from uh, number 3 to 10 uh, 3 to uh, number 1 to 20 now we can start our exercise of the lesson so it will help us to understand the lesson here this is the first exercise jawun al jawu harun jawun mean weather jawun weather al jawu harun the weather is hot taqsun at taqsu mu'tadilun the weather is moderate the weather is moderate samaun sakai samaun sakai as samau safiyatun as samau safiyatun the sky is clear saljun saljun mean snow as salju yatasaqatu the snow is falling dababun dababun fog ad dababu kasifun the fog is dense the fog is dense harrun hot al harru shadidun it's very hot abun fadar al abu qawiyun the father is strong the father is strong ummun ummun mother al ummu al ummu not ummun this is ummun this here it is not ummun here is only single dhamma al ummu with the alif lam we cannot use the tanween al ummu al ummu latifatun the mother is latifatun mean polite nice polite kind jaddun grandfather al jaddu ajuzun the grandfather is old the grandfather is old ardun earth ground ardun mean ground al ardu mubtallatun the ground is wet the ground is wet 
so this was our lesson this one we will do it tomorrow because we have few minutes we cannot finish it today so this we will do it tomorrow inshallah so anyone of you have any question about the today lesson you can raise your hands we have 2 3 minutes if you have any question you can raise your hands about the today lesson Okay. I think nobody have any question. So we finish our class here, and tomorrow we will complete this lesson. Till the next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.